production. So they're coming and they're taking our, our technology courses related to music and music business and learning how to run a program or run a business. Some students want to come and take individual lessons and hone their skill on an instrument or on their voice. And then they transfer and become a music major or a music ed major or all of those opportunities. They can do all of that with us. Laura Quainton, she is a choral director at M State in Fergus Falls. Stephanie Gerhardson is with us, the director of the theater at M State in Fergus Falls. And a lot of times when we think of the theater, we think of what we see on the stage, but there's so much behind the scenes work there with the stage crew and and the props and all of that. And that's something I think uh, some of your students may come in not realizing going to learn about that part of the business. Absolutely. And there, I will oftentimes have students come in thinking, well, I'm going to be in these plays and I'm going to be an actor or I want to be on the front side of the house. And then, you know, we have these practicums that they take so that when they are doing tech for a play, let's say they're being the stage manager, doing the props or running the lights or running the sound, they can receive credit for mm-hmm. doing that because it's a learning experience and there's curriculum and things like that. But then they kind of say, hey, I kind of like this backstage stuff. So I would have uh, quite a few students come in thinking they're going to do acting and really have much more aptitude and interest in some of the technical elements. Steph Gerhardson from the College Theater Department at M-State. Jim Iverson is with us from M-State. Jim is the director of bands. When a student comes to you and says, I want to be involved in your band program, uh, what's the commitment level? I mean, how much are you expecting from me rehearsal-wise? What are assigned projects that we have? How would you uh, answer that question? How much time is going to be commanded from uh, the music department? Depends on their area of study. If, If they are going into being a music major, you know, I probably have a little bit higher expectations for them as far as, you know, practice time and things like that that are requirements for their instrument. And because we want to send them off to a, a four-year institution then, hopefully after after they've been at M-State, when they're off to that new institution, they need to be coming in with the expectations that that college has. But on the other hand, students that are just there for uh, playing for their own pleasure, it can be a matter of just showing up for rehearsals on a Tuesday evening. Jim Iverson from M-State, he's the director of bands. Welcome back to M State's for basketball tonight, a doubleheader. The women are first up here. They're going to express spotlight intros here for the ladies. The men will be right after at approximately 7.30. Starting lineups tonight, first for Anoka Ramsey. At guard, freshman 5-2 from Coon Rapids, Kimori Morris. A guard, freshman from Shakopee, Destiny Casey. A guard, freshman 5'6 from Minneapolis, Amya Simmons. Uh, forward, sophomore from Coon Rapids, Janae Arnoldi. And a forward, a sophomore from Minneapolis, CC Bell. For the Spartans, number three, six one sophomore center, Lindsey Kurz from Climax. Number four, forward, 5'10 freshman from Melrose, Brooke Finken. A forward, 5'10 sophomore from Piers, number 21, Emily Daler. And a guard, 5'5 freshman from Bloomington, Kiara Cox. And another guard, a 5'5 freshman from Montevideo, is Keely Foley. Jody Holloman, the head coach of the Lady Spartans. Sammy Doucette is the head coach of the Golden Rams. And we are ready to go. Big game here for the Lady Spartans against a 12-4 and diff- tough opponent. And the tip is controlled by the Golden Rams, and we are underway here. And handling the basketball for the Golden Rams is Kamori Morris now. High post area, it's CC Bell, their leading scorer at 12 points per game. Right side, it's Simmons. Dribbles left, back to her right. Flips it over to Destiny Casey. Golden Rams only dressing six here tonight. The Lady Spartans dealing with issues injuries-wise as Lindsey Kurz gets the steal for M State. Spartans have their first possession. The Spartans lost Ashley Drager to injury in the game on Saturday against Western Tech. And then yesterday, Itzel Salazar the uh, third leading score for the Spartans went down a minute into practice with, with an ankle injury, and she is out as well. Daler on the inside turns, right shoulder jump hook is no good, and the rebound is tracked down by Destiny Casey for the Golden Rams. No score here. We're a minute into the game here in the first quarter. Left-hand drive, they kick it out to Destiny Casey, dribbles towards the top of the key, hands it off now. It's Morris with it. She'll launch the three, nothing but net. Kimori Morris hits the three. 
And that's the first field goal of the game. The Golden Rams lead at three to nothing. As Keeley Foldy takes it into the front court, guarded closely by Morris. On the far sideline, comes back to her left. Now Kiera Cox with it. Near the S at the center circle, thinking back to Cox, over to Foley. And Foley back to Cox. Left hand dribble, six on the shot clock. Finken dribble right up to Kurz. Lindsay puts it on the floor. Foley catches, fires, wants the three off the glass, no good. And rebound goes to CC Bell for Anoka Ramsey. Bell now loses it, knocked away. She does get it back over in the corner. Three pointer is up and no good. Weak side board goes to Bell. Couldn't handle it, tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Golden Rams. Three to nothing is the score, 8.05 to play, first quarter. And big game for the Spartan men here. Coming up after this one, hosting Anoka Ramsey as the Golden Rams in a box end out. They inbound, it comes into Simmons. Simmons working against Cox, comes back up top. It's Casey across to Bell. Over on the wing, Morris is gonna dribble it up and set things up. On the wing, Spartans man-to-man -man defense here. They lob it across, it comes to Simmons. Three-pointer up top is good. There's Morris, she's got a pair of threes just like that. And it's six to nothing. Anoka Ramsey with the early lead. And Foley brings it into the front court. Man-to-man -man defense here for the Rams. Over to Kurz, way up top, back to Foley. Now Finken, right-hand dribble towards the baseline, under the hoop, ball deflected away and stolen by Bell. First turnover for the Spartans here in the game. Bell up the right side, goes to the baseline, hands it off in the corner. It's Arnoldi, left-hand drive right to the hoop, banks it in. So eight quick ones here for the Golden Rams with 7.05 to play first quarter. And Foley, left-hand dribble towards the wing, comes back. To Finken up top, over it goes to Cox. Kiera Cox to Finken. Brooke Finken puts it on the floor, back to Cox. Now she puts it, left hand drive. Finken wants the three, off the front of the rim, no good. And the rebound picked up by Casey. Casey coming up for the Golden Rams. And gets it to Morris, who already has a pair of threes in this one. And here's Morris, left hand dribble, going all the way to the hoop, goes up, draws the foul, gets the basket. And what a start for Kamori Morris. She's already got eight points here in the first three and a half minutes of the game. She can make it nine in a moment, as that was the first foul of the game. And it is assessed to Keeley Foley. Haley Nelson in for M State. Finken comes out. Sydney Kerr into the game for the Golden Rams as Amya Simmons comes out. And Morris will go to the line. Some big adjustments to make for the Spartans playing without Salazar and Drager. Salazar one of the, is the key playmaker for M State. And uh, Ashley Drager gives the Spartans some very good guard depth that they just don't have here tonight. Here's Daler, left wing with the ball. Comes up top to Nelson, across it goes to Foley. Lobs it under to Daler. Emily, two dribbles left, steps through. Nice little move, banks it home. Emily Daler with a very nice move. First Spartan basket of the game. That ends the run for the Golden Rams at 11, and now Anoka Ramsey throws it away. The pass too high goes right to Coach Doucette, not where you want the passes to go, right to the coach on the sideline. Second turnover for Anoka Ramsey. And Foley will inbound far side, comes into Haley Nelson. Nelson, we'll see if the Spartans, with, without their typical guard play, have the ability to get it into their Two top scorers, Kurz and Daler on the inside. As Cox drives right to the hoop, Kiera draws the foul. And Kiera Cox will go to the line to shoot two. So Kiera Cox, 5'5 freshman from Bloomington, will step to the line. Sidney Kerr picks up the foul for Anoka Ramsey. Cox's free throw is good. So Kiera Cox ready to go, the lefty puts in the air, nothing but net. So four in a row now for the Spartans. They trail 11 to four. And Spartans some full court pressure. Looks like a one, two, two, three quarter court zone pressure. Now Casey brings it into the front court. Spartans fall 
zone defensively here. One, two, two look. Foley at the top of that zone. In the middle, bounce pass, curse pass, knocked away, stolen by Daler. Here comes Emily Daler, quickly into the front court. Right hand drive, deflected away, gets it out to Foley though. Keeley spins back to her right, double team, finds Daler. Now Emily back out over to Nelson. Haley finds Cox to the baseline. Lindsey Kurz thinks about the shot. Now it comes back to Cox. Over to Nelson. And we got 10 on the shot clock. Bounce pass knocked away and almost stolen. Daler comes up with it. She's got five to shoot. Goes to Foley on the baseline. Puts up the tough shot off the glass. No good. And the rebound on the weak side goes to Bell for Anoka Ramsey. Gets it over to Kimori Morris. And the Golden Rams will slow it down here just a bit as the Spartans are now matched up man-to-man. -man. We've seen man end zone from M State here in the early going. Morris swings it over to Kerr, guarded by Nelson. Gets a ball screen, dribbling to her right. Right elbow comes back out. It's Arnoldi on the drive, back out. Kerr wants the three up top off the front of the rim, no good. Nice rebound though by Arnoldi, puts it back up, shot no good. And Lindsey Kerrs with the rebound for the Spartans. Kerrs with her first rebound of the game. And it is Kira Cox with it on the far corner. Comes back to Foley. Foley, ball screen moving left. Picks it up, comes to Nelson. Underneath to Daler. Emily going right to the basket. Little reverse scoop, couldn't get it to go. And Kerr with a rebound. She usually, it was a tough shot, but she one that Emily quite often finishes. Just couldn't get it to go that time. 11 to four is the score. Spartans have been getting some stops here now. Just got to get it going offensively. On the far side, it's Morris. Right hand dribble, just inside the free throw line. Dishes back, little 15 footer is up, off the heel, no good. And the rebound goes to Kiara Cox for M State. Cox quickly up the floor. Now it's Foley. Keeley open for three left side, it's good. She's been shooting it very well. And she knocks down the three, give Kurz the assist. And that's seven in a row here for the Spartans after Anoka Ramsey scored the first 11. And it's 11 to seven. The Golden Rams with the lead. In the middle, Arnoldi swings it over to Kerr on the far wing. Back out, three-pointer. Casey is up off the heel, no good. And it hits the support up high, out of bounds. Spartans fortunate there as CeCe Bell was waiting for the rebound underneath. And it is a timeout on the floor, so we'll take a quick. Consecutive stops, and they will have the ball again here to try cut into the lead a little bit more here, into an Oak Ramsey lead just a little bit more. As Keeley Foley brings it into the front court, it's Foley, Nelson, Daler, Kurz, and Cox on the floor for M State. Cox left hand dribble comes to Foley, deep three left side off the heel, no good. Long rebound tipped by Kurz. Lindsay gets it back and puts it right in for two. Nine in a row for the Spartans. And it's 11 to nine, and Oka Ramsey leads it by two. Some zone press, intercepted by Daler. Here comes Daler, left hand drive, comes to Nelson. Haley, 15 footer is good. And the Spartans got all the momentum right back as they've tied the game at 11. Nice steal by Daler, she gets the assist and Nelson knocks down the shot. And we're all tied up, two and a half minutes to play first quarter. Here is Morris. Morris who has nine of the 11 Anoka Ramsey points. Bounce pass to Arnoldi, left hand drive, gets by Daler, misses the layup, gets her own rebound, battle, kicks it all the way back out. And that was a one that Arnoldi would like to have back. And on the drive, knocked away from behind. Morris has it knocked away from behind and there's gonna be a foul 
on the Spartans. Not a lot of fouls here so far in the game. Only the second team foul on M State. Only one foul on Anoka Ramsey. Although both fouls have been on Keeley Foley, so something to keep an eye on for M State. As Keeley will come out, and Brooke Finken is back in for the Spartans. Golden Rams inbound. It's Bell. It comes up top to Morris. Morris in the middle, back to Bell. Shot fake goes up, tough shot, couldn't get the roll. Kurz and Bell battling for the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession are in favor of M State. And the Spartans, after being down 11 to nothing, will have an opportunity to take the lead here with 2.05 left in the first quarter. As Cox brings it into the front court, dribbles right, comes back to Nelson, over to Finken on the left wing. Bounce pass in the middle, Daler. She's double teamed back to Finken. Top of the key, Nelson. Bounce pass knocked away, and it is intercepted by the Golden Rams. Here comes Bell in transition, right to the hoop, steps through, and it's going to be a reach in foul on the Spartans. And CC Bell will go to the line to shoot two. So that foul is going to be on Kiara Cox, her first team third. CC Bell to the free throw line, a 64% free throw shooter. 5'7 forward from Minneapolis. She's a sophomore who averages 12 points per game. And she can give the Golden Rams a lead back with this free throw. It's up and in and out, no good. So first one is no good. Rams have gone quite a while here without scoring. It's got to be, got to be at least four or five minutes after jumping out to that 11 0 lead. And the second one is up. This one's good. So the Rams back up on top. By a point, that's the first point of the game for Bell. 12 to 11, and Oka Ramsey with the lead. And it's Kira Cox handling the basketball. Comes left side to Emily Daler. Over to Finken. Across it goes to Kira Cox. Underneath, there's Daler. Emily going to work. Backing her way in left shoulder. Blocked by Arnoldi, and rebound comes to Kerr. Good defense there by the Golden Rams. And Morris will bring it up. He thinks about the three, now cuts to her left, kicks it back out. Kerr wants the three from straight on and off the right side of the rim, no good. Bell, though, another offensive rebound. She loses it. Arnoldi has it for a moment. Now Daler's in the mix, and it's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Anoka Ramsey, so they will keep it. But the Spartans get the possession arrow flipped. 12 to 11, Anoka Ramsey with the lead. Lady Spartans trying to get a third divisional win and stay in the postseason hunt here. Top four from the Southern Division qualify for the region tournament. Bell in the corner with it. Ten on the shot clock. Backs her way in. Little back cut Morris with it. Now Morris steps back. Goes over to Simmons. Lobs it underneath. Arnoldi turns. Fires one on the shot clock. No good. Kerr with a rebound. She is double teamed. And it's going to be another jump ball I believe. And this time the Spartans will get it. Though the uh, Rams hurting the Spartans on the offensive boards here in the first half. As Kerr got it and then brought it down, the Spartans converged and were able to force the, the turnover. With 35 seconds left, Daler has it knocked away on the drive, and Anoka Ramsey comes up with a steal. Third Spartan turnover. Up the floor, it's Bell. To the basket, goes up, misses the shot. Knocked out of bounds, it goes off of Morris, and the Spartans will get it. Spartans can opt to take the last shot of the half if they choose. They're going to have to take care of the ball for 27 seconds to do so. As substitution, Casey is back in. Simmons is out for the Golden Rams. Kurz with the ball, left wing. Inside it goes to Daler. Daler backs her way in, out to Nelson. Haley, 18-footer. It's good, and the Spartans have the lead. Nelson, a couple confident outside jumpers. And the first lead for M State, 13-12. Five seconds to go, ball knocked away. It's off of Kerr. Spartans will have it with five, four and a half seconds to go. Sixth Anoka Ramsey turnover here in the first half. Now the official's having a discussion here, and I don't know if we'll have something overturned or not. Yep, it's going to stay with the Spartans, so they stayed with the original call. And Haley Nelson will inbound, see if the Spartans can get a good look here. It goes to Kiara Cox. Kiara quickly up the floor, over the timeline. Two seconds, a running 15-footer, hard off the glass, no good. And that will be the end of the first half of, or first quarter of play, I should say. And the Spartans, after trailing 11 to nothing, they've come all the way back. They've taken a third.
by Destiny Casey. Dribbles back to her left. Over to Kiara Cox in the middle. Daler, right shoulder. Nice little bounce pass. Well, it's tipped away. And good anticipation by Bell getting the steal. He's going to go up the floor, steps through, goes up, blocking foul on Finken. And Bell will go to the line to shoot two. So Brooke Finken will pick up the personal foul, her first. And that is the first foul on the Spartans in the second quarter. And CeCe Bell to the line. Only one point for Bell, but she does have five rebounds already. And she is the uh, leading scorer for the uh, Rams coming in at 12 points per game. And her free throw is in the air. That's good. Second point of the game for the 5'7 sophomore. Yeah, Kamori Morris averages eight per game. She's already got 12 here, only a couple minutes into the second quarter. Second free throw by Bell is good. And it's 19-13. Anoka Ramsey with the lead. That's a 7-0 run here now. The uh, Golden Rams are on to regain the six-point lead. Nelson comes to Daler on the left wing. Over to Cox. Cox left-hand drive back to Daler. Emily, free throw line area, penetrates, stripped away and stolen away. Quick hands by the Golden Rams. Three consecutive possessions with turnovers for the Spartans. On the drive, shot is blocked by Cox and it goes out of bounds off the Rams and the Spartans will get it. Good defense there by Kiera. And Kiera Cox takes the inbounds pass. Spartans playing without Itzel Salazar and Ashley Drager, both with injuries. Ashley injured on Saturday. Itzel injured in practice yesterday. Haley Nelson, three-pointer, in and out, halfway down. Couldn't get it to go. And Morris with the rebound. Man, that was as close as it gets without going in. Right side, Casey thinks about the three. Kurz is on her. Back up top it goes. Spartans 2-3 zone defense. Left-hand drive, Morris dishes out Casey. She's going to launch the three straight on. It's good. That looked good the whole way. And this has been a game of runs, and Anoka Ramsey is on a 10-0 run. And they're back up on top by 9, 22 to 13 with 7. So Anoka Ramsey, they had turned it off over quite a bit in the first quarter. I hadn't turned it over in the second quarter yet, but now that is their seventh turnover of the game. Keely Foley is back in as Finken comes out. Foley, keep an eye on her foul situation. She had two fouls in the first quarter. Back in with 6-10 to play, second quarter. 
as she dribbles it to the right side. Gets a ball screen from Daler. Foley back to her right. Looks in, comes to Daler. Triple team comes, tipped away. Nelson tracks it down, though. And Haley Nelson across it goes to Foley. Lobs it into Daler. Daler turns to the baseline, dribbles out. Nelson swings the Cox. Five on the shot clock. Foley drives to the baseline, find Kurz. Got to get a shot up to Cox. And the Spartans are not going to get a shot up as Cox drives with a couple left on the shot clock. And uh, the, the uh, shot clock expires while she's on the drive. Seventh M State turnover with 5.45 to play. And Golden Rams with the basketball. Some zone pressure here from M State. Bell back out to Morris. Spartans have not scored here in the second quarter after overcoming an 11-0 Golden Ram lead. They took the lead to end the quarter but have not scored here in the second quarter. Morris on the drive, double team back out to Bell. She'll shoot the three over the basket on the far side. Kerr, though, with the offensive rebound. Kicks it over on Noldy. Three on the shot clock. Pass intercepted by Keeley Foley, Foley for M State. Here comes Keeley into the front court. Spartans trying to get off the snide here offensively and get their first points of the second quarter. Foley on the drive. Goes to the hoop. Wrapped up and draws the foul. And Keeley Foley will get to the free throw line to shoot a pair. So it's Gamori Morris picks up her first first team foul on Anoka Ramsey in the second quarter. Amya Simmons back in for Anoka as Janae Arnoldi comes out. And here is Foley trying to get the first Spartan point of the second quarter. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Keely, a, a good free throw shooter at 71% on the year. She's averaging eight points per game and averaging much more of late, really shooting the ball well of late. And her second free throw is in the air, that one's good. Spartans end the Anoka Ramsey run at 10. And Brooke Finken is in. Haley Nelson comes out. 22 to 14. Anoka Ramsey with the lead. 5.04 to play, second quarter. And Anoka Ramsey inbounds. They come across. Zone pressure from in state into the front court. Double team comes. They come to get Casey. Now he's in trouble. It's going to be a jump ball. Good trap there by the Spartans. And that'll force the turnover as the possession arrow is in favor of M State. Ninth turnover, turnover of the game for Anoka Ramsey and we have a timeout on the floor. Spartans trail the Golden Rams 22 to 14 here in co women's college basketball. Let's take a one minute timeout and we'll be back with more
Haley Nelson back in. Finken comes out. Also in for the Golden Rams. Arnoldi back in, and Casey comes out. Spartans with some zone pressure here. One, two, two, three-quarter court with Foley up at the top of that zone press. Bell with it. Onoka has three seconds to get it over. They do it, tipped and stolen. Good deflection there by Kiara Cox. Here comes Dela, right-hand drive, loses it momentarily, gets it to Foley, swings it over to Cox. Kiara finds Foley. Keeley launches the three left side, in and out, no good. And Arnoldi with the rebound for an Oka Ramsey. Spartans a couple threes, one by Nelson and one by Foley that have been halfway down and, and uh, rattled out. Three-pointer left side for the Golden Rams by Simmons, no good. Nice rebound for Haley Nelson on the weak side. Here comes Keeley Foley into the front court. He'll slow it up, under four minutes to play, second quarter. Foley dribbles to her right, lobs it to Kurz. Lindsay right to the hoop, gets, gets fouled and doesn't make the shot, but a good little pick and roll action there for the Spartans. And that'll get Kurz to the line to shoot two. Casey is back in, Simmons come out, comes out. And free throw by Kurz is in the air, and that's good. Lindsay has three points in the game to go along with four rebounds. 22-16, Spartans trying to creep a little bit closer here. Second one up, that is off the heel, no good, and it's Kerr with a rebound, her fifth of the game for Anoka Ramsey. We'll have official stats at halftime coming up in just a bit. My minor are uh, unofficial as we try to follow along as the game goes along. As the Rams get it in the middle, the Kerr dribbles to her left, scoops up the shot, draws the foul, and it will be Sidney Kerr going to the free throw line for Anoka Ramsey with 3.29 to play second quarter. And that follows on Lindsey Kerr's her first, team second. And Sidney Kerr, 61% free throw shooter to the free throw line. Free throw is good. Her first point of the game. Anoka Ramsey now five for six from the line so far in the game. And make it six for seven. Kerr knocks them both down. 24-16, Anoka Ramsey by eight. Just under three and a half minutes to play second quarter. Here's Keeley Foley over the timeline. Spartans don't have a field goal in the second half. They have three free throws. He gets the ball to Daler. Emily left-hand drive, bounce pass Kerr, shot fake, one dribble, pull up 10-footer. There's the first field goal. Lindsay kind of creates her own shot with a shot fake. One dribble to her right, she's got five, and it's 24-18, and Oka Ramsey by six. Here's Casey, all the way across to Bell, back to Kerr. Kerr over to Kimori Morris, the 5-2 freshman. Guard from Coon Rapids, left-hand dribble, turns the corner, kicks it to Kerr, free throw line area, lobs Arnoldi underneath, bank shot from five feet, no good, over the back on Arnoldi, as Daler had the inside position. And that is the fourth team foul, so no free throws yet on the bonus. Next, free th next foul will be free throws for the Spartans. Spartans have trailed by, by no, it was a double digit while well, they trailed by, trailed 11 to nothing early, and then after getting the lead, they, they gave up a 10-0 run as Kurz gets it in the middle, turn around jumper, couldn't get it to go, tipped out of bounds, and it was off of Daler. And Anoka Ramsey will get it. 2.33 to play. 24-18, Anoka Ramsey by six. Points tough to come by here in this one as uh, both teams not a lot of field goals. Golden Rams only with seven field goals. Spartans with six field goals. As Kerr drives, pass to Arnoldi, loses it momentarily, goes up, kicks it across. Casey wants the three, in and out, no good. Arnoldi, another rebound. He goes up, and she'll go to the line as she was fouled, and the Spartans continue to get hurt on the boards. My unofficial numbers here as I quick add them up. Yeah, I got the Spartans out rebounded 21 to eight here so far with my, my stats as Arnoldi's free throw is good. Janae Arnoldi, 5'11 sophomore with five points in the game. So that's something the Spartans are gonna have to clean up to 
get in, uh, close the gap here. A second free throw is no good. Lindsey Kurtz with the rebound. As Foley now with the ball. Ball screen from Daler. Dribbles right. Pull up. 15 footer. Too hard off the glass. No good. Arnoldi with the rebound. Left hand dribble and she's going to be fouled in the backcourt. Haley Nelson reached in. So Haley Nelson with her second personal. Fourth team foul on M State. Just a tick under two minutes to go, second quarter, 25 to 18, and Oka Ramsey with the lead. It's Bell on the left side to Morris, near side, Casey all the way across to Bell. CeCe Bell wants the three, got it, nothing but net, skip pass. And Bell with her first field goal of the game. And the Golden Rams kick their lead back up to double digits, 28 to 18, 135 to play, second quarter. Foley. High post, it goes to Daylor, dishes back to Foley, tipped away by Bell and stolen by Arnoldi. Eighth Spartan turnover of the game. Arnoldi up the left side, pulls up her dribble, goes to Morris, now Kerr. Kerr, a couple dribbles back to Morris. Over in the corner, Bell, and now Bell as she shot fake and put her foot back to penetrate, stepped on the far sideline, out of bounds. Spartans get possession back, 11 Golden Rand turnovers here in the first half. And Keeley Foley, left-hand dribble into the front court. Daler comes up top to Finken, over to Foley on the far wing in front of the Anoka bench. Lobs it into Daler. Double team comes. Emily getting a lot of attention the moment she touches the ball. It swings over to Finken. Now Kiera Cox. Eight on the shot clock. Back to Finken. One dribble right. Bounce pass. Deflected away. Ball's loose on the floor. And it is picked up by Bell, timeout called by Coach Doucette for the Golden Rams. And Anoka Ramsey gets the steal and they are gonna use. So a lot of great athletics going on here at on the uh, Fergus Falls campus at M State. Back to action here. The Golden Rams with the ball, leading by 10, 28 to 18. 45 seconds to play, second quarter. And Morris walks it into the front court. 2-3 zone for M State with Foley and Cox at the top of that zone. Thinking Kurz and Daler at the bottom. Rams swing it from side to side. It's Casey, skips across Bell. That's the same look they had before. Three-pointer open, nothing but net. The skip pass, Bell for three. Casey the assist. And it's now 20 seconds left. Anoka has their biggest lead of the game of 13, 31, 18. 15 seconds to play in the half. Foley kicks it back out to Cox, all the way over to Finken. Finken one dribble right back to Cox. Six seconds, here's Foley. Lobs it into Kurz, over to Finken, two seconds. Finken for three at the buzzer, it is off the front of the rim, no good.
in that one. Well, we're ready to go here in the second half to start the third quarter of play. And Anoka Ramsey will have the basketball, leading the Lady Spartans 31 to 18. And Kamori Morris takes the inbounds pass. Morris had 12 first half points. Spartans gonna have to find a way to score. Only one second quarter field goal. See if they can get the offense going on the drive. Arnoldi pull up eight footer is no good. And Emily Daler with the rebound. And Keely Foley will walk it into the front court. And Foley at the volleyball line up top comes a Daler near side wing. Here's Kira Cox with it. Over to Finken. It's Daler, Finken, Foley, Cox, and Kurz, their orig original starting lineup for M State. Now Daler, six on the shot clock, kicks it out to Cox. Kira, left hand drive across to Finken. Two, she's got to get a shot up. Kurz lets it go, and it is short and out of bounds. And uh, that'll be a shot clock violation. And Anoka Ramsey will get the ball. Some zone pressure. M State showing a 1 3 1 three quarter court zone pressure. As Morris swings it across to Casey, back to Morris into the front court. 31 18, Anoka Ramsey by 13. Arnoldi for three left side off the glass. No good. Tip by Finken. Battle for it. And diving to the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball. Spartans will have possession. Yep, finding a way to, it's, it's been twofold here for the Spartans, finding a way to score and also keeping Anoka Ramsey off the offensive board. That's been a problem as Anoka Ramsey out rebounded the Spartans 22 11 in the first half. So we'll see if M State can keep the Rams off the boards here and get back into this game. Foley on the right wing. Up top, Finken launches the three off the heel, hits the support up top, out of bounds. And Anoka Ramsey will get, gain possession. 8.41 to play, third quarter. No one scored yet here in the third quarter. 1-3-1, one, one. zone pressure. Anoka's got about three seconds to get it over. They do, Casey gets it over to Morris. Now Spartans fall back, half court zone, across it goes to Simmons. Now up top, here's Casey for three. Off the heel, no good. Arnoldi of the offensive board, couldn't get it to go. Bell's the offensive rebound, gets another one, goes up and she draws the foul. And there comes the offensive rebounds again for Anoka Ramsey. As they got three extra opportunities and they're going to get to the free throw line. CeCe Bell has nine points in the game. And she'll try to be the second player in double figures tonight. And free throw is up and off the heel, off the rim, no good. Bell is now three for five from the free throw line in the game. She's got 9.7 rebounds. And ready to go again. It's in the air, and this one is in and out. No good. Finken hauls in the rebound for M State. Gets it over to Keeley Foley. Still no points here yet. Almost two minutes into the third quarter. Foley left-hand dribble. Hands off to Kiera Cox. Cox to Daler. Emily, left-hand drive back to her right. Here is Cox in the lane. Kicks it out. Foley wants the three from the corner. Off the rim. Long rebound tipped up. Tracked down, though, by Kiera Cox. And the Spartans get a much-needed offensive rebound. Kara Cox over to Daler. Now Emily, one dribble, two dribbles right. Hands it off to Finken. Bounce pass underneath, tipped away, goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Spartans. Kerr checks back into the game as Simmons comes out. Box end out for M State. Foley inbounds Daler. Fakes the handoff, goes right to the hoop. Emily's got an angle, misses the shot, gets her own rebound. That's too strong. And the weak side board goes to Casey. Missed opportunity there for the Spartans. And Bell, she'll launch the three left side. In and out, no good. Good inside position for Lindsey Kurz. And she has rebound number seven here of the game. Foley over the timeline. 7.15 to play third quarter. 31-18 and Oka Ramsey with the lead. Spartans playing without Itzel Salazar and, and Ashley Drager. Ashley injured on Saturday's game against Western Tech. Itzel injured a minute into the game, into practice yesterday. And now the pass tried to get it to Daler, and it goes off of Emily and out of bounds. Turnover number 11 on M State. And Anoka Ramsey will throw it in. Right side, it's Casey. Swings it up the floor to Arnoldi. Left-hand drive, picks it up. 
Back to Casey, thinks about the three, swings the more. She's open for three. She hasn't missed yet tonight. That's her first miss. And the long rebound tracked down by Keely Foley. Foley quickly up the right side of the floor. Over to Daler. Emily, one dribble, pull up 10 footer, got it. There's a field goal Spartans needed. Give Foley the assist. 31-20, that's the first points for either team of the third quarter. 6.25 to play, third quarter. 31 to 20, Spartans trail by 11. Here's Arnoldi, shoots the three on the right side, off the rim, no good. Fink in the weak side board, so far so good. For most of this third quarter, Spartans on the board. And Well, after that possession that the uh, Rams got three different uh, rebound looks, but now there's gonna be a whistle here. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the whistle was for. In any case, Simmons is going to come back in. Spartans are going to keep possession. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one was, but they're going to inbound on the near side with Cox coming into Foley. Spartans trying to get this into single digits as Foley uses a couple ball screens to her left. Now Kurz up top over to Finken in the corner. Back to Foley. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kurz. Into Finken in the middle. One dribble, running eight-footer. Hard off the glass, no good. Rebound tracked down by Janae Arnoldi, her eighth rebound of the game. She dribbles it up the left side of the floor. Finds Morris. Across it goes Simmons. 18-footer right side off the front of the rim, no good. Kiara Cox gets the rebound. Here comes Kiara, quickly up the left side. Crosses over to her right. Dishes, Daler, right to the hoop. Emily layup, good. Good penetration there by Kiara Cox. Emily Daler now has all four... Spartan points of the third quarter. M State makes it a single digit lead for Anoka Ramsey, 31 to 22, with 5.15 to play third quarter. Here's Bell over the timeline, double team, looking for a teammate, gets it to Simmons, bounces it to Arnoldi, tipped away, and the Spartans have a steal. Here comes Foley, up the floor to Cox. Kiera Cox back to Foley, steps through, shot blocked by Arnoldi, and Arnoldi with a rebound. So now the Golden Rams will slow it up. And Oka Ramsey has not scored here in the first five minutes of the second half. Bad news for the Spartans. They've only scored four, but that has got the lead back to single digits. 31 to 22. Here is Morris, right-hand dribble in the lane. Picks it up. Across it goes to Bell. Bell working against Cox. Backing her way in. Now gets by Cox. Running eight-footer. No good. Kerr, the offensive rebound. And the putback is in. There's the first points of the third quarter for Anoka Ramsey. And now there's, a, there's another whistle here, and it's gonna be a timeout on the floor with 4.29 to play here in the third quarter. It's Anoka Ramsey 33. And Man-to-man -man defense here for the Golden Rams. Haley Nelson now into the game. She came in for Finken. Over to Kurz. Taylor curling into lane. Pull up 10-footer. Off the glass, no good. But Emily draws the foul, and she will make a trip to the free throw line. It's going to be the first foul of the, sec of the second half or the third quarter on Anoka Ramsey. Only one foul. Not a lot of fouls tonight at all. As that foul goes to Destiny Casey, her second team first. And Emily Daler. Free throw off the front of the rim, no good. Emily with seven points tonight to go along with three rebounds and three assists. 
She's one for three from the line. Second one in the air. That one's good. Eight for Daler. And 33-23, Anoka by 10. Up the floor, the Rams break the press. It goes over to Casey, shot fake. Retreats back out, up over it goes to Morris. Pass, fake pass left. Dish is down the right side. Nice pass, layup is good for Destiny Casey. Give Morris a very nice assist there. And Anoka Ramsey, they kick their lead back up to 12, 35 to 23. Here's Cox up top to Nelson. Haley over to Daler on the far wing in front of the M State bench. Now there's going to be a moving screen away from the ball on the Spartans. It's going to be on Haley Nelson. Haley picks up her third. That's the 12th Spartan turnover of the game. And Arnoldi comes out as Bell comes back in. Haley Nelson with three fouls will come out. Brooke Finken returns to the lineup. And Anoka Ramsey with the ball, leading by 12. 3.35 to play, third quarter. Up the floor goes to Anya Simmons. Swings it over to Casey, across to Morris. Morris, left-hand dribble, ball screen moving left, running eight-footer in the lane, off the front of the rim, no good, and Kurz handles the rebound for the Spartans. Here's Keeley Foley. Spartans desperate to get some offense going here. Only one field goal second quarter. They got five points so far third quarter. Here's Daler back to Foley. Keeley wants the three right side. Got it. There's Keeley with her second three of the game. Good action going to Daler and kicking it right back to Foley. Daler now with four assists. Foley with seven in the game. And the Spartans got it back into single digits. It's a 35-26 Anoka Ramsey lead. Simmons, low pass, deflected out of bounds. And Anoka Ramsey fortunate. It went off of Kerr's at the last moment. Lindsay had her hand in there. Otherwise, it would have been a turnover. Arnoldi back in. Simmons comes out for Anoka Ramsey. 19 on the shot clock as Anoka inbounds it underneath their own hoop. It is Bell inbound. Ball tipped away and stolen by Daler. Here comes Emily Daler. Right-hand dribble. Back out. Foley. Left-hand drive. Right elbow. Comes to Daler. Emily, 18-footer. Off the front of the rim. No good. Bacon battling for the board, and Brooke comes up with the offensive rebound. Here's the three. Cox no good. Daler with a rebound. Emily puts it back up and in. Well, here come the Spartans a little bit as they've cut the lead to seven, 35 to 28, with 2.20 to play third quarter. Daler now with 10 points. He's the first Spartan to reach double figures. So here's Morris, 2-3 Spartan zone over to Casey on the left side. Casey, right-hand dribble, goes to Bell. There's the three. That's what they had in the first half. That's off the glass, no good. And Kiera Cox with the rebound. Kiera up the left side of the floor, picks up her dribble, over to Foley. Keeley, shot fake, on the drive, pull up 10-footer, and Keeley draws the foul, and Foley will get to the line to shoot two as the Spartans continue to chip away at this lead. And it's going to be on Kimori Morris, her second, team second. And Foley, who's one for two from the line tonight, will shoot two. Free throws in the air. It's good. Nothing but net. Eight for Foley. That's her average on the air. But she's been averaging more of late, really shooting the ball well for M State. And she can cut the Golden Ram lead to five. The free throw is good. It's a seven-point Spartan run, 35-30. Spartans trail by five with 145 to play third quarter. Here's Casey into the front court. Lobs it over to Arnoldi. Left hand dribble. Arnoldi running 10 footer. In and out no good. Lindsey Kurz with rebound number nine of the night for the Spartans. A minute and a half to play in the third. Spartans trying to continue on this run. And Foley right to left on the dribble. Retreats back. Swings it to Kurz. In the middle. Daler turns to her right. Loses it for a moment. Kicks it out to Foley. She wants three. Keeley off the glass, no good. And the long rebound handled by Sidney Kerr for an Oka Ramsey. Kamori Morris will walk it into the front court. 35-30, Golden Rams by five. Morris back up top, one minute to play, third quarter. Gets a ball screen moving left, turning the corner. Dishes, nice pass, Arnoldi under the basket. And a good two, really a good job by Morris again, setting up Arnoldi who now has seven in the game, and the lead for Anoka Ramsey is seven, 37 to 30. 
as Foley, left-hand dribble into the front court, swings it to Daler. Emily Daler finds Brooke Finken, top of the key, over to Foley near side, lobs it underneath Daler, got some pretty good position, turns left-hand left hand shot from short range, no good, and Arnoldi gets the rebound, her 10th of the game. Good look for the Spartans, but Emily couldn't get, get it to go, and now Anoka Ramsey can hold it for the last shot if they so choose. With 15 seconds to play, Kimori Morris has the ball up top. Spartans do have some fouls to give if they would like to keep them from getting a shot in their continuity of their offense, and that is a foul on Foley, but that doesn't hurt too much at all for the Spartans, other than it will be Foley's third personal foul, so that hurts a bit. But Anoka Ramsey not in the bonus, and with 4.7 seconds to play, they will inbound it. As Haley Nelson comes in for Foley, who has three fouls. Bell inbounds right underneath Arnoldi with the basket. She draws the foul. And the Rams execute their inbounds play perfectly. And we'll have a chance to get that lead back to double digits here by the end of the third quarter. 39-30, Arnoldi to the line. She has nine points. She'll have a double-double if she makes this free throw. She does. I got her for 10 points and 10 rebounds. And the lead is 10. 40 to 30, Kira Cox takes the inbound. She'll launch the three quarter court shot, hard off the glass, no good. And that'll be the end of the third quarter of play. 40 to 30. And uh, they won the first quarter 13 to 12. They won the third quarter 12 to 9. The problem was they lost the second quarter 19 to 5, and that's where the 10 point margin is. And Anoka Ramsey has the ball to start the fourth quarter. Left side, bounce pass, it goes into Bell, working against Cox, backing her way in. Double team, triple team, back out to Casey. She'll shoot the three off the front of the rim, no good. Ball tipped around, and good job by Kiara Cox coming out of the scrum with the basketball. Up the left side of the floor is Kiara. Back out to Foley. Spartans with Foley, Kurz, Daler, Cox, and Haley Nelson. Here is Cox over to Nelson on the wing. Bounce pass to Kurz. Lindsay lobs it to Daler under the hoop. Back out Foley. Keeley wants three. Keeley's got the three. Don't want to leave her open. Daler found her. And Keeley Foley now has 12 points to lead the Spartans in scoring. Give Daler five assists. As they quickly get up the floor on the right side, 40 to 33. Spartans trail by seven, and Spartans come up with a steal. That's turnover number 14 for Anoka Ramsey. Nelson to Cox, pass underneath the Kerrs, having a hard time handling it, goes out of bounds, and it's off Lindsay. And that'll be the Spartans' 13th turnover of the game. 8.53 to play in the game. Anoka Ramsey by seven, 40 to 33. And Oka Ramsey now makes a substitution. They have Casey, Morris, Bell, Arnoldi, and Kerr on the floor. Spartans with some full court zone pressure. Over the ball goes tipped away. 
scary moment there for the Rams. Now lead pass is in trouble, and Lindsey Kurz comes up with a steal as the Rams turn it away. Here come the Spartans. Foley finds Daler underneath. The Emily steps through. The lead is five. And there's a timeout called by the Golden Rams, and the Spartans start off the fourth quarter with the first five. in Fergus Falls. Now Spartans have a little spark offensively. They're forcing some turnovers with their pressure and they've cut the Yanoka Ramsey lead to 5, 40 to 35. Golden Rams break the press with the basketball. Bell stripped up and is fouled. She was fouled on the drive. No free throws involved. As that foul is going to be on Emily Daler. That's Emily's first. First foul on either team in the fourth quarter. Spartans have dealt with injuries. Golden Rams have dealt with injuries too. They have six dressed here tonight. Spartans playing without the last few days. They lost Ashley Drager to injury on Saturday in the game against Western Tech. Lost Itzel Salazar, their third leading scorer, to injury the first minute of practice yesterday. Arnoldi pulled up jumper. No good. Emily Daler with a rebound. Spartans can keep chipping away here with another basket. Here's Cox, hands it off to Keeley Foley. Foley with three threes in the game and 12 points. Steps back, lobs it into Daler underneath. Emily, nice pass, finds Kurz, layup is good. Spartans within three if they, as they've scored the first seven points of the first fourth quarter. Six assists for Daler in the game, and it's 40 to 37, 750 to play in the game. Morris, left-hand dribble. Soft double team from Cox and Daler. Gets it into the front court to Arnoldi. Back to Morris. Left-hand dribble. Gets by Cox. And Cox, or, uh, Cox is going to get the foul on the hand check with Morris. Kira picks up her second. Team second. Simmons back in for Anoka Ramsey as Casey comes out. Casey holding her knee a little bit. Both the... The last thing either of these teams need right now is some in extra injuries. As Kerr with it, comes back out to Morris. It's a one possession game, 40 to 37. Spartans trailed by 13 at the half, and they're within three. Four on the shot clock, Arnoldi between the legs, steps back in the lane, goes up, just gets the shot off. I mean, we're talking a split second before it went off and she got the bucket. And that was a clutch move there by Arnoldi. And the first basket of the fourth quarter for the Rams, and they kick the lead back up to 5, 42-37. Foley back out, Daler. Emily left-hand drive, finds Kira Cox. In the middle, it's Kurz. Lobs it over to Daler, and it's behind Emily and out of bounds. Turnover number 14 for the Spartans. Seven minutes to play in the game. And full court pressure assessed by MC. Now the pass almost stolen, but... Morris comes up with it. She's going to push it up quickly, but now she'll bring it back out and set up the half-court offense. Spartans working out of the 2-3 zone. It goes over to Kerr, knocked away from behind by Cox. Daler comes up with the ball. 16 turnovers for the Golden Rams. Foley into the front court. and see if the Spartans can come all the way back here. They got it to within three. They trail by five. They trailed by 13 at the half. Haley Nelson with it. Over to Kurz, just inside the arc. Nice pass underneath. Daler, Bell coming to help from the weak side, draws the foul, and Emily Daler will go to the line to shoot a pair. CC Bell picks up her first, and that's the first team foul on Anoka Ramsey. Daler to the line. She's got 12 points. She's two for four from the line in the game. 
And the free throw is good. Nothing but net for Emily. 13 for Daler. And she leads all scores in the game. As Destiny Casey returns for Anoka Ramsey, Arnoldi comes out. Daler trying to cut the lead to three. She does just that. 14 for Daler. 42-39, Spartans trail by three. Inbound come to Morris. There's a double team. Across it goes to Casey. Right to left on the dribble. Now she brings it into the front court. Spartans will settle back in. Looks like they're going to go man to man. Now Simmons with the ball in the corner. I'm sorry, it's Bell with a shot in the corner. That's off the rim, no good. And it's Keeley Foley with a weak side board. Here comes Foley. Six minutes to play in the game. Lob pass. Daler underneath. Gets free layup. Good. Foley the assist. Daler's got 16. And the Spartans are within one inside of six minutes to play in the game. Here is Casey. Lobs it up into the front court to Simmons. Now it comes to Morris. Morris guarded by Foley. Spartans go 2-3 zone. They've been back and forth a bit here. Here's Casey. Right-hand drive goes up. Banks it home. Tough shot by Casey. Little contact there on the drive. She's got seven. And it's 44-41. Three-point lead. Now Janae Arnoldi is uh, going to the training room. Is the no one on the bench right now for the Rams. Daler passed underneath. Kurz couldn't handle it, but Lindsay turnaround jumper off the heel, no good. And it is Casey with a rebound for Anoka Ramsey. Good look, couldn't get it to go. As we approach the five minute mark here in the fourth quarter, Anoka Ramsey 44, M State 41. Simmons with the ball right side. Couple dribbles left, Morris backdoor cut in the lane, dishes Bell, gathers, goes up, gets the basket, draws the foul. Spartans inch closer and then Anoka Ramsey seems to get a few buckets quickly after. Kira Cox picks up her third, team third. Bell now in double figures with 11. She's three for six from the line tonight. As the Rams lead by five, 46-41. And the free throw by Bell is good. There's a quick five points by the Rams after the Spartans cut it to one. They're up by six. Steph Gerhardson from the College Theater Department at M State. Well, the Spartans trailed by 13 and at half. They cut it to one about a minute ago, but then an Oak Ranch.
10th rebound of the game. Here comes Foley up the right side. We'll see if the Spartans can muster up enough offense here to give themselves a chance to win down the stretch. They trail by six. Baylor up top goes to Finken over to Foley. Here's Keeley Foley. The Spartans need Keeley Foley to get open. She's been shooting the ball well of late. And three threes tonight. Daler backing her way in in the post. Four on the shot clock. Cox, Finken, Brooke open for three. Nothing but net. That's what the Spartans needed. Finken with the three, her first field goal at the shot clock buzzer. And the lead is three with 3.45 to play. Morris on the drive. Floating shot in the lane. Rims around and goes in. That went hard off the glass and kind of popped up and went in. 14 for Morris. 49-44. Anoka by five. Foley, right to left on the dribble, loses it for a moment. Now picks up her dribble, swings to Daler. 15 on the shot clock. Emily inside to Lindsey Kurz, finds Finken. Brooke Finken, right hand drive, back out to Daler. Left hand drive, gonna call the travel on Emily, shuffled her feet as she went to the basket. And that'll be the 15th turnover for M State. And with 3.17 to play, 49-44, and Oka Ramsey with the five point lead. Anoka inbounds to Destiny Casey in the backcourt. Baylor picks her up into the front court. She goes. Right hand drive to the baseline. Tough shot. Kerr's fouled her though. And she'll go to the line to shoot too. I think that's one where Spartans would have been well served just to keep those hands up and not come down on it because it was going to be a real tough shot for Casey. But she will get to the free throw line to shoot two. That's Lindsay's third personal foul, fourth team foul. So uh, the Golden Rams will shoot two free throws from here on out with a super bonus coming out. Casey makes the free throw. She's got eight. She's a 59% free throw shooter on the season, and she leads Anoka Ramsey with four assists in the game. Second one is up. That one's good, and just like that is a seven-point lead again here for Anoka Ramsey with 3.09 to go. You get the feeling Spartans are going to have to knock down a few threes here down the stretch. And the person with the ball has been their most effective three-point shooter. That's Keeley Foley, who brings it over the timeline. Dribbles to her right, loses it momentarily, gets it back, comes to Cox, over to Haley Nelson. Nelson, 15 on the shot clock, over in the corner to Kurz. Kurz into the post, Daler, back out Nelson. Haley, straight on for three. That misses everything short. Daler tries to save it, but it goes into the hands of Sidney Kerr for an Oka Ramsey. 2.40 to play in the game. Spartans need a stop here, down by seven. As Arnoldi, left-hand dribble, man-to-man -man defense for M State. Arnoldi dribbles left, comes back to Kerr. Nelson on her, in the middle, Bell tipped away from behind by Cox. Ball is loose, Casey comes up with it, but Cox going for the ball, trips up Casey, and that's gonna put Casey to the free throw line to shoot two out of this double bonus. Fourth personal on Kiara Cox. As Destiny Casey, she just got done making a couple free throws, will go back to the line. She's got nine points in the game. She's two for two from the line. She's a 5'8 freshman, and her free throw is good. Golden Rams now four for four from the line in the fourth quarter. Casey in double digits with 10, and the lead is now eight. Spartans had it within one after trailing 13 as Casey makes the second one. She's got 11 and the lead is 53-44. Anoka Ramsey with the lead, 2.20 to play in the game. Foley dribbles left, hands it off to Cox. Kiara Cox gets it to Daler. Emily left hand drive to the basket, tried to dish it to Kurz. It was deflected by the Rams and out of bounds. Spartans will inbound underneath their own hoop with 2.08 to play in the game. Box end out for M State. Foley gets it into Kurz. Lindsay back to Foley. In the middle, Nelson jump stop, finds Daler right side. Emily two dribbles left, knocked away, gets it back. Eight on the shot clock. Foley shot fake. One dribble right. Here's Daler back to Cox. Kiera's gonna fire the three up off the heel, no good. Long rebound comes to CC Bell for an Oka Ramsey. Double team in the backcourt, Bell dribbles up the right side. We're at a minute 45 to play in the game. Spartans trail by nine. Bell right hand drive, timeout is gonna be called by Sammy.
against the Noka Ramsey. 140 to play. An Oka Ramsey leading M State 53 to 44, and it's Bell inbounding on the far sideline. Comes in to Morris. Morris right hand dribble goes over to Casey in the corner. Back up Morris now. Left hand dribble. We're at a minute and a half to go and 10 on the shot clock. Morris right to left on the dribble. Nelson comes out on her to the baseline, looking for somewhere to go. But now the Spartans are going to be called for the foul, and that is not what the Spartans wanted was to let an Oka Ramsey milk that. Clock, shot clock all the way down to three and then go to the free throw line. So Lindsay Kurz will pick up her fourth and Morris will shoot two. Very nice game for Kimori Morris. She got the Grams going early in the game and her free throw is good. She's got 15 now to lead Anoka Ramsey. Anoka now six for six from the free throw line in the fourth quarter as their lead is now double digits at 10. Second one in the air, that's good. 16 for Morris, 55-44, 11-point lead as this one's slipping away a bit here for the Lady Spartans after a valiant effort to get back in the game. Daler on the baseline, back to Kurz. Lindsay drives the right baseline, pull up eight-footer off the front of the rim, no good. Arnoldi with her 11th rebound of the game for Anoka Ramsey. Spartans come with some pressure here as we reach the one-minute mark to go in the game. KC drives to the baseline, goes up, partially blocked by Kurz, and Daler with the rebound. Here comes Emily Daler, pass, bullet pass up to Cox, broken up by Bell, out of bounds. Spartans will throw it in. Trailing 55 to 44, 53 seconds to play. And Daler will inbound, box end out for the Spartans, gets it into Kiera Cox, right back into the post. Daler, Emily left shoulder turn, bank shot gets the basket and draws the foul. So Emily will try to go for a three-point play here. She now has 18 points in the game. And the lead is now 55 to 46. An Oka Ramsey with 48 and a half seconds to play in the game. Daler is four for six from the line in the game. And that free throw is off the heel, no good. Arnoldi with the rebound. Gets it to Morris, into the front court. And knocked away from behind, but Kira Cox is gonna foul out of the game, reaching in from behind and that will put Morris to the free throw line. So Kiera with five fouls, she fouls out of the game with two points, four rebounds, as Brooke Finken will come back in. And Kimori Morris back to the line, Golden Ramp seven for seven from the line in the fourth quarter. That's, that's how you close out a game, as the free throw is good. 17 for Kimori Morris, she leads Anoka in scoring. Daler the leading scorer in the game at 18 tonight. And that one by Morris matches Daler. She's got 18. And okay.
And Simmons ready to go, right hands this one up, it's good. So Simmons gets on the board with her first point. This match is the biggest lead of the game for Anoka Ramsey, 59 to 46. And Simmons ready again, it's up and good. So outstanding free throw shooting continues, 60 to 46, 10 seconds to go in the game. Anoka Ramsey leads it, Haley Nelson. Swings it to Daler. Emily left-hand drive. Dishes to Kurz. Lindsay 15-footer on the baseline is good. Give Emily her seventh assist. Kurz with nine as Anoka inbounds, and that will do it for this one here.